Hi everyone, it's Miss Hale here again. Today we're going to look at maths word problems and how to solve them using the cubes strategy. So the cubes strategy is a strategy to help us work out word problems in maths. Um, it's uh, an acronym, it's five different steps for uh, um, basically pulling apart word problems and making them easier to solve. So for the C in cubes, it means circle the key numbers and units. So we need to circle the numbers that we're going to need to work out this word problem with. I've got a basic word problem here. It says Jill picked 14 sunflowers and Sam picked 17 roses. How many flowers did Jill and Sam pick all together? So in order to circle the key numbers that we're going to need to use, we need 14 and the units, it's sunflowers, and Sam picks 17 roses. The reason we include the sunflowers and the roses is because you'll find later on it says, how many flowers did Jill and Sam pick all together? If for some reason there was a line in this word problem that said that they had picked something else that wasn't flowers, then we would know not to include that information. So we circle the key numbers and units, 14 sunflowers and 17 roses. In the next step, the U, it stands for underline the question. So what are we actually being asked to solve here? Um, the question's usually found in the last line, but you do need to look for it sometimes. So in this respect, it is here. So how many flowers did Jill and Sam pick all together? All right, the B stands for box the maths action words. Basically, it's asking us, what are we going to be doing? Are we adding it, subtracting, multiplying, dividing? Um, in this respect, we can look at this word and. It doesn't always mean to add, um, but it could be a clue. Um, the main hint here is the word all together in the last sentence, the question that it's actually asking us. Alrighty, the E, evaluate and eliminate. A lot of the time there will be information in word problems that we don't actually need. So this is where we read through it, we have a look at what it's asking us, we follow the steps we've already taken, and we get rid of any information we don't need. In this word problem there is not any information that we don't need, it's a very simple word problem. So what steps are we going to take to solve it? Well, we're going to look at our numbers, we're going to look at our 14 sunflowers and 17 roses. So we know that those are two things that we're going to need for this word problem. Then we're having a look at those words, the and and the all together. And we're working out that that means that we're going to add these two things together. And the last step, so the S stands for show your work and check. Um, basically, we've got our sum here. It's written out um, in an algorithm so that it's a lot easier to work out using place value. So when we're solving this, we're going to be adding 14 and 17. So the first thing we need to do is start with the ones house. We're going to add seven and four, which is 11. And we're gonna put the one from the ones house down there and the one from the tens house in the 11 up here to add to the next house. Once we've done that, we're adding the tens house. So we've got one plus one plus one, and that equals three. So our answer is 31. In order to double check this, we could use a calculator. We could, first of all, though, check the reasonableness of our answer, which I believe Mr. Langham is doing a, um, a video on how to do that. Um, and that's about it. That's word problems. So give it a go. Good luck and have fun.